Hi everyone, hope you are doing well and safe wherever you are in the world. In this video, I will talk about how to display any font you like on a TFT screen using a microcontroller. I will also be sharing a piece of software that I developed and some drivers to help you do that. So the microcontroller I have is PEC18F45K20. I know it's a bit mouthful, but you can use any microcontroller that you want. Uh, the important bit is it needs to have some uh, flash memory on it to store the font data. And this little beauty has 32 kilobytes of flash memory, which is more than enough to display multiple fonts. On the circuit, I don't have much, just a bit of uh, power regulation and an external crystal to keep the seconds here. Again, this is definitely not needed to display the fonts. And between the microcontroller and the TFT screen, we have four wire SPI and a few more wires to drive the backlight and supply the power to the screen. The, the screen I have is a uh, 1.8 inch uh, 160 by 128 pixels TFT screen. This is from AliExpress, about a, a dollar or cheaper. You can find cheaper versions of it. If, if you are curious about the details on how to drive this screen using a microcontroller, I have a previous video, which I will link down in the video description below. So in this video, we won't get into the details of driving the screen, but uh, we will uh, talk about how to display any font that you like on the screen. And uh, drivers that I used on the microcontroller is quite portable. So if you are using an Arduino or any other uh, microcontroller, as long as you have a way of setting the address and pushing colors to your screen, you can just port it to any, any kind of microcontroller. Really, the, the code will be really portable. Let me share a piece of software that I developed for this purpose. This is a web app called the Font Rasterizer, which you can find on our tools and goodies page. I will also add the link down in the video description below. So um, what this Font Rasterizer does is that, as you might already know, font files are vector files, which are points and directions. To convert this vector data to pixel data, you need to do some serious floating point calculations. And on top of that, you need some anti-aliasing algorithms to run just to ensure the characters have smooth edges. And generally speaking, this is a little bit too much for microcontrollers, especially if their primary purpose is not processing the fonts. So this tool does the heavy lifting of rasterizing the fonts, aka converting the vector information to pixel information and store it in a piece of portable C code for us, which we can use in our microcontroller projects. The tool is a web application. You don't need to install anything. You just need to go to our page. I will share the link down in the video description below. The first thing you need to do is to select a font file. I have a bunch of demo fonts here. I'm going to pick something that's uh, season appropriate. The next bit that we want to do is to select the characters that we want to roster. So by default, all the ASCII characters are there and that's what the tool supports. But if you want to reduce the memory footprint of the um, rasterized font data, you can reduce the number of characters to oh, alphanumeric or numeric, or you can even just click there, let's say you just want to type hello world and nothing else on the TFT screen, then you can just keep typing it. It just uh, adds them to a set, so it won't allow you to type characters twice, but you can keep typing and it will just, you will end up with all the characters that you need for whatever you typed. If you are doing something like a digital clock or something like that, you can just stop numeric characters and then you can add like other characters like semicolon, space, etc. if you need some um, characters, you can just add them to the set and it should all be fine. And the next bit that we need to do is the font size. So unfortunately, you can't change the size within the microcontroller. We have to generate code for the given font size. And the reason for that is that we don't only generate the bitmap data, we also generate some 4-bit uh, alpha channel information for the for the given font that allows us to, to move the anti-aliasing information from the from the font to the to the TFT screen. So I'm not going to get into the details of that, but um, you have to set the size here. And if you want to use different sizes of fonts, you have to roster them separately. So let's say uh, in this case, we want uh, 48 um, pixels for the font size. And then the next bit is easy. We just want to press raster and generate code. And it generates a piece of C code. That's quite portable as far as to my knowledge. It's still work in progress. There might be some improvements here, but that generates a very simple portable code. So I'm not going to get into the details of the data structure here, but um, it generates the, the pixel data uh, for each character. And then and at the last line, we have a variable that we can use with the supplied library. After generating the code, you can just click on the copy code button that will just copy the 
generated code to your memory. Now the next bit we need to do is on the code front. Now let's talk a little bit about the drivers and how we can use this generated code. So uh, if you have seen my previous video, I have this uh, TFT STH uh, specially designed for um, these TFT ST7735 screens. And that's uh, just based on the other fruit drivers for Arduino, which is ported to MP Lab and to be used with XC8. Um, they're not like the API isn't very different and I'm not going to get into the implementation details of this driver, but on top of this driver, I have the three more files. The most important one being uh, the TFT SD custom fonts. The methods that we're going to use from it is the TFT SD draw char with font, which requires a pointer to our font data, which we have just generated. And we have this TFT SD draw text with font. Again, it just requires the font pointer to the font data that we have just generated. Other than that, it's pretty similar to the um, default system font methods that's provided with the library. And it's very similar API to the other fruit libraries where you just need to provide the coordinates and the text and the, the foreground, the color of the text and the background color of the text. So based on the foreground color and the background color, the four bit alpha channels that I talked about in the font data, we are going to generate the the color blend between those colors and that would give us a, a nice anti-aliasing when we are rendering the font but again i'm not going to get into the details but if you want to change the color depth like this because, because this thing is using 16-bit colors let's say you want to use 24-bit colors or 8-bit colors then you, you might use this information to modify the library's prepare blend method that's pretty much it really. We have the types and types is just that uh, defines the, the carrier types for the rasterized font data. And we have this pretty much empty custom font data. And this is the file where you want to paste your generated font data, but you can also create your own header file for separate fonts and sizes. You can just include the type definitions and that should be fine. And this code is quite portable. Like you don't have to use XC8 or you don't even have to use a pick microcontroller. You can just use whatever other microcontroller you like. There's like two things that the driver needs to do. One of them is that the set window method. As long as the driver knows how to set window on the TFT screen, which is like in the address window. And as long as it can push colors to the TFT screen, you can use pretty much any driver that you want because that's the only two methods that we need from the driver to do. So the name of the font file is this TFTSD font letter type Christmas icons regular. So the code we generated uh, here for this font and the uh, font size is about five kilobytes. And if you build the code here, we still have more program space, which we can see here. We're only using 11 kilobytes on the program space. So perhaps we can add a little bit more or maybe more characters. Since we still have space on the microcontroller, let's say we want to use another font. I'm just going to pick Creepy Pumpkin. The tool supports both open type fonts and uh, true type fonts, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. And um, after selecting the font file, I want all uh, ASCII characters there and the font size, perhaps something smaller like 16 i'm just going to raster and generate the code and that will be another four kilobytes so if you notice as we increase the font size um, the memory required is also increased that's because we are storing pixel data and then there, is, there are more pixels as we increase the the font size and we only support up to 200 after 200 it gets a little bit complicated to store the pixel data information in bytes uh, so that's the reason why, but it's more than enough for these small TFT screens. There's also a rudimentary compression embedded in this data, so it's a little bit optimized. It's still work in progress, could be a little bit better, but uh, it's good enough for the job. So I'm going to put the font size back to screen, generate the code, and copy the code. And I will also add this to my custom font data file. So now we have two font files. One of them is TFTSD font, letter type, my Christmas icons, regular 48. 
and the other one is tftst font creepy pumpkin regular 16. so now let's try to draw something using those fonts so i'm not going to get into the details of the function here but um it's just doing a bit of initialization on the because the, this code is using timer interrupts for the counter that i showed you in the beginning of the video uh, but it also needs the screen and the spi connection there is nothing complicated going on here we are just going to call the draw text with font method here and for the font we will supply the first i want to work with the christmas font which is uh you can just copy and paste the name from the font data file we have there it is i will copy the name of the font here and then i'll provide the pointer we want to provide the coordinates which i will put zero zero for now at the top of the screen and the next bit will be our text that we want to display here remember we didn't have all the characters for uh, this Christmas font so I'm just going to but we had all the numbers so I'm just going to type 2023 since we had all the the numbers and then um, put some asterisks here on the front and at the back and see what it renders is an icon font I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen and then we need the font color which in this case a 16-bit color I'm going to use the constants from the library um, I'm just going to um, choose a font color and then I need to choose a background color as well which in this case would be black again these are 16-bit RGB colors let's program our microcontroller and see what happens look at that it's not too bad um, the asterisks did not show anything so um, maybe they didn't exist in the font and now let's, let's fix that so um, let's go to the font generator again I'm just going to pick our uh christmas font again and this time i i need the characters but i don't need all of them let's optimize it a bit further because i just want to type 2023 so i just need 2000 i, I will just type 2023 but the, as i type the tool will drop the second input on the two because it just wants a set of characters and let's say i also want a um, a should be corresponding to some sort of icon in this font so that's what I'm going to use instead of the asterisk and the size 48 was pretty good actually it just you uh, know looks good on the screen I'm just going to stick with 48 and uh, I will generate the code again so this time I have a really short code which is good all the character data is here which is great I'm going to copy this code and go back to the driver and change the uh, data it's just I'm just going to remove this uh data that we have previously supplied for the icon font and uh, just replace it with the new data and uh, going back to the code uh, instead of the asterisks i will just put an a the letter a at the beginning and at the end of our text and uh, reprogram it and see what happens this time i should i'm just hoping to see some sort of something christmasy icon on the screen yeah there we go and um yeah it's just uh, too big right we just uh the text just didn't fit on a single row so uh, we have a bit of a wrap it just wrapped to, to the next line uh which is fine it's not a big deal um you can reduce the font size if you want to fit it on a on a single row and make it pixel perfect in this case i'm just going to remove the last bit and i want to add a little bit of because i want everything on a single text because i want to write a, a little bit more on the next line using another font again we're just going to call the same method draw text with font and this time i want to use the other font the uh, creepy pumpkin font the ftsd font creepy the, yep creepy pumpkin regular 16 and uh instead of i want this to appear somewhere in the middle of the screen so this is our 128 pixels i just want something to appear on the right. middles so i've just put like for the x i will put zero but for the y coordinates i'll put 64 and uh, what about the text uh, text you can just write i don't know merry christmas for now since we had since we had all the characters for the creepy pumpkin font this should be fine 
I'm not entirely sure whether the font supports the dash, but I'll just remove it. Um, and now we just need to provide the colors, yellow. And again, I'm just using the uh, constants for convenience, but these are 16-bit uh, colors. You can just create your own. Okay, let's give it a try. It's a little bit smaller than I like, but um, and it's quite hard to capture on the camera, but there's real nice anti-aliasing around the letters, and it's also very readable. There is like really nothing, nothing wrong with that. So yeah, you can use this tool and just try where to display any font you like on TFT screens and any size. I will share the tool, the drivers and everything down in the video description below. And if you have any questions or have any difficulty running the tool or the, using the drivers, uh, please let me know. I'm, I'm happy to help and answer as usual, you know, and uh, that's, that's all to it. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.